Hi everybody, so today I'm going to show you a really easy way to play the good, the bad, and the ugly on your fretless cigar box guitar with just a slide. Um, I'm tuned in G, G, D, and high G. And I'm just using this little cube with some reverb and uh, some tremolo for that nice old sort of 50 sound. Um, I'm just using the slide, of course, and uh, behind the slide, I always try to put my fingers down so I don't get any of that sort of back noise while I'm playing. And today I'm using a pick and my other two fingers just rest on the strings in case I need to mute anything. Um, and the reason I'm tuned to G is just because it's a popular tuning. You can do this uh, any place where you have a root a five and an octave. So it could be in D or E. It doesn't really matter. It'll work anywhere. So we start off uh, with the middle string and the high string at the 12th fret. 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. Now you might want to use your thumb and first finger or a pick in your middle finger so you can go quite quickly. If you do that, it's a lot easier than if you try to pick back and forth. That works, but if you use a finger, it's a little easier. Then on the high string, we're at three, five, five on the middle string. This is the same note as the high string, but I like to do it on the middle string so I can use vibrato. Then you do the twelves again. Three, five, ten. Twelves again. Three. Two zero, three on the middle. Twelve again. And then five. Five on the middle. Or open if you prefer. Okay, the next part of the song. Um, you do two opens on the low string. And I do that with a downstroke. And then I do an upstroke open on the middle string. And then a downstroke on the three on the low string. And then three on the middle string. The reason I mention the picking is just a little easier to get that sort of... And after I've done that two or three times, then I go up to the uh, seventh fret. 10th fret, and then to the 7th fret on the high string, which is kind of like the peak of the song. Okay, the next part of the song, 3, 2, 0, and then 5, and usually I play the 0 again. Try to speed it up a bit. And then there's uh, quite a complicated run that finishes off the section of the song. Um, but we're going to use just a slide technique of sliding up and down to get through here. And this is kind of uh, inspired by Puckett guitars because he does a similar thing but with frets. And I thought, yeah, that's a good way of getting around there without actually having to learn the exact lick, right? So what we do on the last, when we're done doing that, and if you can pick those notes, that's great, but if you can't, just slide. Then move to the middle string, then slide up, high string, middle string, low string down, back up, middle string, low string down slide up to the 10th fret. So it's simply a down and up motion. You can really do it any way you want. I'll write it down in the tab down there, you know, something that's useful, but you can change it to anything you want. Just get up to here. Pretty strongly, and that ends that section of the song. And then you play the intro again. Thanks a lot for listening. I hope you have some fun with that. Have a great day. Bye.